Hey folks, today I'd like to show you the brand new AI Assistant in Chrome DevTools. This is great for finding and fixing issues in your pages, especially those to do with CSS and layout. So I've got a Movies app here, and we're going to tweak it to add a dark mode. So let's get started with asking a question um, about my page. And my question is going to be, well, how do I apply a dark mode to my page? Now, the AI Assistant is great for asking questions about your page and getting answers that have context um, right there. So you should hopefully get a response soon from the prompts, and it's telling us that there are a few different approaches we could take, like defining CSS variables with a dark mode, adding a toggle switch, um, using JavaScript. And this is great. I get a lot of instructions. What I'm interested in is how do I can I you know can I actually have it add a dark mode toggle to my page? So let's go ahead and try that out. Um, this is a, a little uh, vanilla app that I'm using, so let's see how well it's able to handle this request. Analyzing the prompt, uh, studying the page, let's see what it's able to give us. So it tells us like the code that it can execute. Um, it's using some of the guidance from before. We can see it's got dark mode styles. And it's going to say that it can modify the page for us if we continue. I'm OK with that. So it's adding a dark mode toggle. And you can see that this has already been added right over here to our page. So I'm going to click toggle dark mode. And you can see that that's already working. Isn't that nice? So dark mode's there. We can see that there are some style changes that have already been made to our page when we're in dark mode. And so we're just going to go ahead and tweak this dark mode a little bit. So in dark mode, chain uh, my movie title should be purple because it's currently gray. So we're just going to select the title and go ahead and ask it this. Uh, so it's analyzing the prompt. It's already come back with a response. So we'd probably want to change this selector, but it can already make those changes live for us. And there we go. Now, what I want to make sure of is that this is only applied in dark mode. So I'm just going to go and play around with this. And as you can see, when I'm in light mode, it's black. When I'm in dark mode, it's purple. Perfect. So the next change I want to make is in dark mode, um, change the background color of my buttons to lime green. So which buttons am I talking about? I'm talking about the learn more buttons here. So let's go ahead and ask the AI assistant about that as well and see what it can do. So styling buttons in dark mode, um, it's telling us what CSS rule would be uh, impacted. It's telling us that this would be with a dark mode class that's active on the body. But it can already make these changes. So I'm just going to go and continue. And there we can see it's already made changes to our learn more buttons. See? So all of those learn more buttons are now green. And my ideal here is if I go and I switch this off, we go back to those black colors for the learn more buttons. Awesome. That's looking really nice. Um, Another change I'd like is on hover, maybe it would be cool to add a grayscale pick, uh, filter to these, to these poster images. So um, I'm going to select a card. I'm going to say, uh, on hover, add a grayscale filter to the poster image, the image poster. Cool. Let's see what it does. Uh, that's just going to be a nice little effect in case folks are, are navigating around this. Uh, and it's going to use filter with grayscale 100%. So that's cool by me. Let's go ahead and make those changes. So on image hover, it's telling us what it's going to do. And as you can see, when I hover over, it's already made these changes, right? This is cool. As a prototyping tool, like this is really, really nice. I can quickly see the impact of, of changes. I'm also curious, you know, I've got a lot of different movies on this page. Um, it'd be nice if I could filter on the page as well. So how would I add a search box filter to filter uh, movie cards? So it's going to uh, give me an answer that's based on uh, the structure of my page, which, which is great. So let's see what it comes up with. Um, this is going to be working against uh, the movie card class. And 
Okay, so it's telling us we'd probably include, of course, uh, an input field. We'd add some JavaScript to deal with the handling, and then it would basically go through all the movie cards and try to filter them down based on whether their title included the search term or not. And then it would decide whether to hide or show those and maybe add some CSS for visual feedback. So that all looks really cool. And it's got some further information here. What I want is to actually have it add a search box or filter to the page for filtering my, uh, down movie cards. And let's see what that does. So it's analyzing the prompt once again, and it's already returned a response. And so I'm pretty cool with this. I'm gonna go ahead and let it modify the page. What we can see is that it's added in a little search movies box. I'm gonna let it finish because even though it's appended uh, the input box, there might've been other logic that it was applying. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna play around with this. Let's see if it actually works. Now the ideal is um, maybe if I type in Deadpool, it only shows it, you know, that Deadpool and Wolverine movie. Um, what else do we have here? We have uh, Hellboy. Is there anything that has more than one instance here? Maybe I'll use the word the. Uh, I saw the crow in there, but the, you know, you see the wild robot, the platform. Uh, two, very cool. Beetlejuice gets filtered down as well. So that's really, really awesome. Um, I love that. Now, um, one more change I want to make. Last one probably is going to be to this movie's title. Uh, make the title sexy. Uh, use inter, inter, people love inter, um, tight letter spacing bright. Let's see what it does. Um, those are some higher, high level, uh, you know, instructions. I'm, I'm really curious what it decides here. So to make the title sexy, we can adjust its font family, letter spacing, and increase the brightness. And I can already sort of, sort of see what it's decided. It's come up with a bright pink color, um, with a text shadow as well. Let's have it go ahead and make that change. Awesome. So this that's kind of cute. I like I like what it's done here with this little like movies title and that's using enter. So I think that that's going to be probably about it uh, for the changes that we've made. This is the AI assistant in Chrome DevTools. I hope you find it helpful. Check it out. Thank you.